Good morning, good evening, um, whenever you find yourself watching this. Father Victor here from St. Francis. Uh, this is a bittersweet message. Um, Pentecost is coming up, um, but it's also my long goodbye. My time here in Missoula and Montana is coming to, a, to an end. Um, all good things come to an end. And uh, my last Mass at St. Francis will be at the end of June, and my last Mass at St. Ignatius uh, Mission and Our Lee will be the 4th of July, uh, the 4th of July weekend. I'd like to share with you a passage from A River Runs Through It by Norman McLean. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a part where the two brothers are fishing with their father, who's a Presbyterian minister. And uh, they're talking about uh, the father sitting along the banks of the river and uh, he's reading something. And the passage begins this way. Uh, I was reading the part where it says, the word was in the beginning. And that's right. I used to think water was first, but if you listen carefully, you will hear that the words are underneath the water. Well, that's because you're a preacher first and then a fisherman, I told him. If you ask Paul or my brother, he will tell you that the words are formed out of the water. No, my father said, you are not listening carefully. The water runs over the words. And then a little, a little later in the passage, it reads, A river, though, has many things to say, that it is hard to know what it says to each of us. Um, I love the book. I love the passage. And I'm captivated by this idea that the words are underneath the water and speak. And the only way to get to them is to pay attention and to carefully listen. It's the same image for Pentecost. People think of fire and, uh, and tongues coming down from the sky as a symbol of Pentecost, but it's actually a noise. It's a sound and people speak and you have to listen. I've been talking to the river uh, these past few weeks and I've been trying to listen. And uh, the other day, the words, they were speaking to me and the river told me, um, it said, thank you. You know, thank you for coming to Montana um, and being generous. And I'm humbled uh, by that because uh, the privilege um, has, been, has been all mine. And it's, uh, this has been a place of renewal um, for me personally. And um, the people, uh, the parishioners, you, um, the staff at St. Francis, the staff at St. Ignatius, and um, uh, Montana mountains, the rivers, and, uh, and the devotion that has been shared um, here throughout this year of pandemic has humbled me and has renewed my hope in, uh, in a bright future. Um, that needed some kindling. So that's what Montana and that's what you did for me. And so I thank you for um, being a part of my story and for you letting me be a part of your story.